Outliers are a common problem within statistics, and robust and resistant methods have been developed to try and ensure that statistical inference is less affected by individual observations. So we're going to look at some basic examples of estimating mean and variance of a data set robustly. So to do this, we're going to create a dummy data set, which we'll just call X, and we're going to create this from generating numbers from a random normal distribution and adding a randomly large value at the end. So if we've got 20 data points from our normal distribution of mean 15 and standard deviation 3, and we add to the end of that a value of 125. So we'll see that there's clearly a data value here that is a lot different to the majority. So if we work out the mean of x, we'll see that it's a mean of 20.32, which is actually larger than all but one of the data points. So it's not a particularly good summary of the data. So what we could do is we could look at the median, because the median is less badly affected than the mean. And here our median is 15.1, which is a more representative central value for our data. What we could also consider is a trimmed mean, and a trimmed, as the name suggests, indicates that we remove data from either end of the distribution. So we add this additional part, trim equals, and we're going to remove 5% of the data points at each end. And here we now see we've got a mean value closer to the median, as well as being more representative of the data as a whole. Now an alternative, if we want to go and look at how variable the data is, we could do var to give our variance, and the variance is 582, which is quite uh, large and unreasonable, or we could consider the mean median, so absolute deviation, and this is 2.27, and this is a more robust and reasonable measure of the variance of the majority of the data. Now an alternative, more recently, are what are referred to the M estimators. These were first proposed by Huber, and the mass library in R has got a couple of functions for working out the M estimator for the mean, and putting that with a either a median absolute deviation estimate for the variance, or the proposal to scale variance. So the Huber function does the first of those two, which gives us a um, robust mean and variance estimates, or the alternative one is the Huber's, and this gives a slightly different estimate, but they're a lot closer to each other compared to the values taken with the non-robust versions of location and scale.